This video is going to look at how you can create a slideshow on YouTube with your photos. Turn them into a movie, publish it on YouTube, share it out to your friends and family. To create a slideshow in YouTube you do need a YouTube account and to, to have a YouTube account you need a Google account. So if you have a Google account, sign into it. I've just created a new uh, Gmail account and Gmail will be able to give me a YouTube account. So sign into your Google account and then go to YouTube. And you do need to sign into YouTube with your Google credentials. So up in the top right, sign in. And you will need to create a YouTube channel in order to upload your videos. So up in the top right is where you can find your settings for your Google account, your YouTube's account. So if I click on that drop down box there, I want to create a channel. And if I create a channel, then that lets me save videos as favorites and create playlists as well as upload my own. So select my channel and if it's the first time you've done this then you'll be taken through the process of creating your own channel. Now you can edit your profile in, in Google and put in a photo and uh, make it a little bit more user friendly. I'm not intending to do that, just going to show you how to upload photos and create a slideshow. So OK while it creates the channel. And I can add some channel art and upload some uh, background image so it doesn't look too too bland. And over here is your setup for your check you know, checklist to set up your channel. Describe what your channel will be about and add some links and add some art. Now, you can do all that you know, at a later date. At this stage, all I want to do is create some content. I want to upload something. Now, go to upload. And on the right there is the option we're looking for, create a photo slideshow. So I'm going to select create photo slideshow. And I've already uploaded some, some photos previously into different albums, so I could reuse those. Uh, and it gives me a, a preview of the different albums that have been uploaded to my YouTube account. But I want to upload some new photos. So I'm going to rename the album because it gives you the default date as the album name. This one is going to be about my dog, so it's called Harry. And I want to select some photos from the computer. Select some photos, I'll just put three or four. Click open to upload those photos to your YouTube account. And when they're uploaded, you can move them around to get them in the right order. If you don't want one, hover over it till you see the cross and delete that one from the album. If you want to add more photos to your slideshow, add more photos and upload them. And want to upload them into an existing album. If I just selected photos now, it would create a new album for me. So add to an existing album into the same one, Harry, and go back to the computer and add a few more so you get enough. Upload those. And again, just move them around to so get them into the right position. And then when you finish that, next. In this section, you need to make some decisions. Firstly is how long will each picture be on the screen before it moves on to the next one. Now three seconds is not enough for me, so I'm going to change it to about six. The slide effect, so either you've got the pan and zoom or you have none. And the transition between each photo. So you can look at the different ones and see the effect they have when you move them. And I'll keep mine at crossfade. It gives you the total length, so it's a minute at the moment. So if I wanted it a bit longer, I just need to keep adding pictures until I get it as long as I like. Uh, you can have some music that accompanies your uh, 
slideshow. If you don't want any audio, select no audio. If you do, you can only select from whatever tracks there are uh, in YouTube. So you can't upload your own music. You can search for a track. If you've got one particular track in mind under iTunes that you'd want to, to include, or you can just select what they give you here as featured tracks. Uh, that are in the top track. So if I want something that's a bit instrumental, uh, I might just pick that one, a dirty trick. And that's the music that I want to accompany my slideshow. You can preview it by just clicking the play. That'll preview the whole slideshow along with the music. And then when you're ready, upload. Now you've got some, some more options. It's processing the slideshow. It gives you the, the link for your actual video and if you're wanting to share this uh, photo slideshow with other people privately, that is the link that you will email to people or send to people. Uh, you've got to decide on your privacy settings. Do you want it public? And if it's public then anybody searching YouTube can find that uh, photo slideshow video and be able to see it and watch it and add it as favourites and do the normal things you can do with YouTube. If you want it private, you can make it private or you can make it unlisted, which means it'll never be found when people are searching, uh, but anyone with the link can view it. Private, only people you choose can view it. And that means you've actually got to give, you've got to actually nominate and email addresses for people to actually have that. Unlisted to me seems the the easiest. I can just give that link to to anyone I want to see that video and don't have to worry about any anyone else searching for it. And you can put it in a category, but it doesn't really matter if it's not going to be unlisted. If it's going to be unlisted, you can change the the name of it. So I'm going to call it Harry. A description if you if you needed to and. Um, I'm just going to leave that, that as it is. Tags you would only need if this was public. So if you're looking for um, videos on dogs and you put a tag of a dog in there or the actual type of dog. And if this was public, anybody searching for Cavoodle may come across this video. But if it's private, if it's unlisted, no really need to put in tags. Description probably because you need to explain what the, the slideshow is about and where the photos come from, etc. Uh, change, uh, save your changes in, in case it hasn't saved, so you always keep a watch on that one. The slideshow, when it's completed, will have a thumbnail and it's going to look for the most appropriate image as that thumbnail image. And YouTube has decided these are the three images that are the better ones. These are the only pictures that you can use uh, as a thumbnail for your video and I prefer this one so I'm going to set that one as the thumbnail for that uh, slideshow and now I have to save the changes. Video has been completed, it's uploaded, that's the link, the advanced settings there. If you are making that public then you might need to look at changing some of these things. If it's private or unlisted, no one else is going to see them. Now to actually have a look at the video, you can just select the link itself, go to your settings, select Video Manager, and anything that have been uploaded into my account will be selected there. And uh, you'll notice that there are two videos in the Video Manager. This one has an unlisted icon which means when I go and have a look go back to my settings and go to my channel which is the public view of my YouTube channel so anybody can see my, my YouTube channel and they can see what I've uploaded and what channels I've subscribed to maybe what favorites are or playlists but if I've got any videos that I've uploaded that are private or unlisted they will not appear in that channel. So anybody coming across my channel is never going to find that slideshow. This one I made public. So if I wanted to see that video, I have to go through my video manager.
which is here and now I can click on that to play that it's got music accompanying it full screen and select that and watch the the slideshow in full screen the resolution will depend on the resolution of the, the original images stop it so if I wanted to actually give this video to somebody else and go back into video manager and edit and that's the link the URL so I click on that copy it I can send that out to anybody I want to to be able to see this slideshow so when you go into a new mail message you can uh, at, at include that URL to the person you want to send it to so in your video manager you can click on it you could also find the link by going to the share and there's the, the link there as well and you can copy the link and send it out to those that you want to see it on the right here because I've actually put in some um, tags as, as dog and convertible it's just giving me some other uh, options of other videos that other people have done that I could look at. They have got some settings here while you're viewing it so you can look at uh, the highest possible quality so the highest resolution is what you could select there. You can look at it in different size players full screen, large player or small, pl small player. This is a large player. Small player and full screen. Now if you wanted to go back and add to that slideshow you would have to, to go back into uh, upload and create a whole new one. You can't add a new photo to a slideshow once it's been published. If you want to delete this one and create a new one so you don't want two of them there then you go into video manager and select the actual video you don't want go to actions and delete yes and then I can go back into upload create a new photo slideshow I want to start with this album but I want to add some more photos so I'm going to select that album and add more photos which I'm going to upload and add them to that existing album and go back into the computer pick some more pictures upload them so that you can go back in and rearrange and uh, delete if you've got duplicates hover over them until you, you see the plus sign and you can delete them and then go through the process again um, go to next select the music etc and upload 